Hey guys, what's going on? Wayne here. So look, for a lot of heavy equipment makers out there, the topic of electrified equipment is still really a discussion of the future. Now it is true that hybrid and electric drive machines from companies the likes of Komatsu and Deere and Caterpillar, those have become pretty commonplace if not widespread, but when it comes to battery electric machines, really the only announcements that we've seen from the majority of OEMs out there have been concepts like, you know, Deere's 310 X tier backhoe that we saw a couple of weeks back at the Utility Expo or made to order machines like the Case 580 EV that the company unveiled first at Con Expo 2020. But for Volvo construction equipment, battery powered electric machines are not something that's kind of off in the horizon or in the near future. They're here in the present. Today. In fact, Volvo unveiled its first production battery electric machines back in 2019 at the Bama show in Munich, Germany, the L25 compact wheel loader and the ECR25 compact excavator. And when they did that, when they unveiled those first two battery electric machines back in 2019, Volvo also announced its intent to completely replace all of the diesel powered compact machines in that lineup with battery electric counterparts. Battery electric machines that would match or exceed the power production and capability of those diesel machines. And toward that goal, Volvo has actually ceased development entirely of new diesel powered compact equipment. Now it's unclear how much longer Volvo will continue to manufacture or produce these diesel powered compact machines, but you know, moving forward, all new machines and all new development that take place within Volvo CE is going to be focused on battery powered models. Now these battery powered Volvo machines are actually already in the field in Europe where they were not only, you know, announced and unveiled first and pre-orders went up first, but they've actually started deliveries there in Europe. There are currently about 200 battery electric Volvo construction equipment models in the field working in Europe today. Now here in North America, those machines are available for pre-order at Volvo CE's website, but they're not currently being delivered yet. But this limited availability everywhere in the world hasn't stopped or slowed the rollout of this Volvo electric lineup. In fact, just in the last week, Volvo announced three more electric machines that are coming down the pike. The L20 compact wheel loader, the EC18, and the ECR18 compact excavators. Now we're gonna get into the development and the field testing of each of these five electric machines, as well as kind of dig into some of their individual details. But before we do that, let's spend a little bit of time talking about the overall details behind Volvo's electric platform. Now in terms of the batteries themselves at the heart of these Volvo machines, Volvo has implemented batteries with capacities ranging from 16 kilowatt hours all the way up to 40 kilowatt hours. Now I mentioned before that Volvo has been developing these electric machines to provide identical performance to their diesel powered counterparts. And as attested to by the customers and operators that have been putting these machines through the ringer in the field over the last two years, these machines do deliver on that promise. They are just as powerful, they are just as capable as the diesel powered machines. But the difference is they do so with zero emissions, a lot less vibration, and a lot less noise. But the big question, the big concern, whenever we're talking about battery powered machines, is gonna be runtime, and specifically how that runtime stacks up to how much time is required to charge these machines back up. And the good news on that front is that Volvo says all five of its current electric machines in this new electric fleet can be charged from 0% completely depleted all the way up to 100% in under six hours. The less good news is the actual run times, but the thing is that actually depends largely on the machine we're talking about and how you plan on charging it. Run times on this current electric lineup run anywhere from two and a half hours of run time on a single charge all the way up to a possible 12 hours of charge. Now, the big kind of thing that factors in here along with which machine we're talking about is how hard you're pushing the machine, what types of applications and work you're doing with it. But let's say that you're a customer who knows you're gonna be pushing this machine hard, whether we're talking about an excavator or a loader, you know you're gonna be pushing the machine hard at some point during the day. And you wanna be able to have the capability to run that battery down and then connect it to a charger during downtimes on the job site. And for those situations, Volvo has actually developed an off-board fast charger that the company says will charge up the L20 and L25 loaders, the larger batteries that are found in those machines. It will completely fast charge those up to 100% in under two hours. Now that means during lunch, you'd probably, you know, if you've depleted one of the loaders, you could plug one of them in and in about an hour, you should recover 50% of that machine's charge. Meanwhile, these fast chargers provide about 80% of total charge in just an hour and 15 minutes on the smaller batteries in this range 
that are found inside the compact excavators. The main caveat to the fast charger is that you have to have the, the on-site or the nearby electrical infrastructure to support a dedicated fast charging station. Now, these are compact machines, so it's, it's probably pretty unlikely that they'll be doing a lot of work on remote job sites without such electrical infrastructure. But, you know, let's just say you are using them on a remote job site uh, that can't support a dedicated charger and that, you know, you would have to be either, you know, the, the two options are transporting the machines back to civilization where they can be charged or bringing the charge to them. In those cases, in the future, it's looking a lot more likely that the charge is going to be brought to them through some kind of mobile battery packs. And Volvo is actually designing, developing, and prototyping mobile battery packs just like that. And the way it would work is you bring these battery packs to the job site on the, on, on the back of a trailer, you offload them, and you use them to top up your machines. Basically the same kind of concept that's behind those you know small kind of uh, battery packs that we throw in a bag for topping up our phone while we're on the go. But these are huge batteries. Specifically, Volvo says that the battery arrays that it's developing for these mobile battery packs for mobile charging are 600 volt battery arrays, and they're gonna be scaled down with an inverter to provide a 48 volt direct charge to the machines. Now, it is important to note that these mobile battery packs are not yet slated for production. They're still very much in the prototype uh, development and testing stage, but it is interesting to note that Volvo, you know, sees the problem and is already trying to think of a solution to meet that problem. Plus the other interesting aspect about these mobile charging packs is that Volvo says the batteries at the heart of these chargers are actually gonna be the same 600 volt batteries that it deploys in its larger excavators, its larger loaders and other equipment on down the line. All right, but let's get back to these current battery electric machines and kind of dig into the individual models themselves and give you a few details on each of them. First up is the L20 compact wheel loader. Now this is a four and a half ton loader that offers 1.8 tons of payload. And the cool thing about this machine is that it also packs a parallel linkage that's gonna give you 100% parallel movements. And that's that obviously makes it perfect for fork applications. Now on this machine, you do have a choice between a 33 kilowatt hour battery capacity or 40 kilowatt hours of capacity. And Volvo expects that this machine will achieve six hours of working time on average. Now, next up is the L25. This is the L20's big brother, a five and a half ton loader with a Z bar linkage and a 40 kilowatt hour battery providing an average of eight hours of runtime. The EC18 is a 1.8 ton conventional tail swing excavator with an undercarriage that retracts to less than 3.3 feet and expands up to 4.4 feet, allowing you to squeeze into some tight spaces. The design of the EC18 keeps the right frame corner, the swing post, and the cylinder all within the track's width while you rotate the machine. And the machine packs a 20 kilowatt hour battery with a runtime somewhere between three and five hours, depending again on how hard you're going to push the machine. Now, Volvo has also announced a short radius version of the EC18 called the ECR18. Now this is also a 1.8 ton machine, but with only 12 millimeters of overhang in the back. And like the EC18, that right frame corner stays within the frame of the machine while you're rotating it. Now this machine is available only with a canopy and it's 16 kilowatt hour battery gives it a runtime between two and a half and four hours. And rounding out the Volvo electric fleet is the ECR25. Now this is a 2.7 ton zero tail swing radius excavator with a 20 kilowatt hour battery providing up to four hours of runtime and a very quiet, very comfortable sealed cap. Now, like we mentioned before, the L25 wheel loader and the ECR25 excavator, those were the first two machines that Volvo announced back in 2019. And as such, those machines are actually already being delivered to customers in Europe. And though those two machines haven't started shipping quite yet here in North America, Volvo did actually complete this year a major customer testing program that was made possible by a $2.1 million grant from the EPA. Now, the L25 and the ECR25 went out to a number of different customers in the last year tackling a variety of different applications for a total of 400 job site hours. And Volvo says that customers were excited to try those machines out and operators were really, really happy with the performance and maybe even more so how that battery powered drivetrain cut down on noise. Yeah, how about that noise?
In fact, Volvo says these battery powered machines produce 90% less ambient noise than their diesel powered counterparts. More importantly, in those 400 hours of job site runtime, Volvo estimates that the battery powered L25 and ECR25 eliminated some six tons of CO2 from being released into the air compared to their diesel powered counterparts. And that last point is an important one to make because Volvo says here in the last few years, it has really started to see a trend among its customers, both here in North America and around the world, where they're starting to clamor more and more for machines that pollute less. Just as the accuracy and productivity gains delivered by technologies like machine control have given a lot of contractors out there a real edge in the bidding process, especially you know when it comes to public projects with state DOTs, you know, in the same way, having zero emissions equipment in your fleet is likely going to be a big competitive edge for contractors in the future. Now, Volvo cites 50% of all US states having set or stated some kind of goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions here in the next 10, 20, or 30 years. And specifically, the Biden administration has set a goal for the US to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2030, and that's just you know nine years away. It's not very long away in the future. So there is a bit of a time crunch, and while cars and trucks definitely contribute the vast majority of greenhouse gas pollution that goes into the air, contractors and the states and clients that employ them have really identified off-highway trucks and equipment as a major culprit themselves. All right, but when will customers here in North America be able to get their hands on these Volvo battery electric machines? Well, the ECR25 has been available for pre-order for a while now, and Volvo plans to make the first deliveries of those excavators to North American customers in January. Meanwhile, the L25 loader is slated for early 2022 deliveries, and as for the EC18, the ECR18, and the L20 that were just recently introduced, those first deliveries are planned for the second half of 2022. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap this one up, our deep dive into Volvo Construction Equipment's battery electric platform and this current five machine fleet of compact construction equipment. Hope that answers all your questions, but if it doesn't, be sure to reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at Wayne Grayson. And if you're uh, watching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you're getting notifications whenever we drop a new video. And uh, be sure to follow uh, 4 Construction Pros on all of our available social media channels here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.